Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video we'll have some fun with Waterdrop infographics. So let's go! Alright, so I have created a couple of these water drop infographics. Here we have octagon with 8 water drops, here we have heptagon with 7, hexagon with 6, pentagon with 5, and square with 4. And in this video I would like to actually focus on how to draw these water drop shapes. Because as you can see in some of these infographics, these water drops are quite thin and narrow. And for example, in pentagon they are quite wide. And what would be the easiest way to draw these water drop shapes? Okay, so let's start with a square water drop and it's actually really easy to make it in PowerPoint because we have this teardrop shape that we can choose from the shape menu. Just hold down the shift key to draw a perfect teardrop. Okay, now we can duplicate it. Let's flip it horizontally and let's bring it close to the first one, just like that. Okay, now we can uh, group these two guys. Hit Ctrl G to group. Now let's make a copy. You can always uh, hold down the Ctrl key to make some copies. So let's flip these guys vertically, align everything together. And now we can join them into one big group. And here we go. We have made a square water drop. Of course, I haven't filled it with any colors, but this is basically the foundation of this infographic. Okay. And when it comes to creating the rest of these infographics, the process is a little bit more complex because we don't have these, uh, you know, special teardrop shapes in the shape menu. So for the pentagon, we pentagon, we first have to insert a pentagon. Just hold down the shift key to draw a nice uh, pentagon. Okay, and next we have to draw some circles. Okay, and we have to position those circles exactly where is the corner of the pentagon. So the center of the circle has to be directly on the corner of the pentagon. So we have to insert five circles. Okay, and make sure that uh, those circles are exactly on the corners. And another important thing is that these uh, circles have to be touching each other. So there must be no overlap and there must be no gaps. So they have to be precisely touching each other and precisely on the corners of the pentagon. So it's quite a challenge to achieve this in PowerPoint. And next we have to choose the freeform tool and draw a special triangle that goes to the center of the pentagon and comes back to the circle like this. Now let's select the circle and the triangle and we can union them and this way we get our teardrop shape. But as you can see if we zoom in and we click on edit points, we can see that this shape is not perfect and we have some gaps between the circles. And as you can see, it's pretty, you know, quite hard to create all of this in PowerPoint. So to help us out, we'll jump to Inkscape, free vector program, which is absolutely free and which works with PowerPoint very well. So why not to use it? And as always, let me just hide the page border so that we have plenty of space to work. Okay, and now let's select the polygon tool. Let's start with the pentagon. So let's set the corners to five. And I'll hold down the control key and let's draw a nice pentagon just like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, now let's select the polygon tool again. Set the corners to six. And let's draw a hexagon. So let's make sure that we have a flat, a flat, a flat side at the bottom and at the top, just like that. That's beautiful. Now let's make the septagon with seven corners. So let's just drag it upwards, just like that. Okay, and now for the octagon, we have to choose eight corners. And as you can see, octagon is quite special because when we try to draw it, it's actually quite hard to have a flat edge at the bottom. And to fix that, let's go to preferences and let's find rotation snapping options. So let's go to steps, rotation snaps every 
and let's set it to 22.5. All right, and now let's try to draw an octagon, and now we get a flat bottom. That's super awesome. All right, so we have all of the shapes created that we need. Let me just align them to the middle, and let me space them out horizontally as well. Okay, let me drop down the opacity to 50. We have the opacity options here at the bottom. Okay, so let's start with a pentagon. You can hold down the space bar to adjust the view of your Inkscape window. So now let's go to Circle Tool, hold down the Control key, and draw a perfect circle. Okay, so now we will have to move this circle so that the center of the circle is exactly on the edge of the pentagon. So for that we'll have to enable some of the snapping options. So first make sure that the snap to cusp nodes is activated. So all of the cusp nodes are basically these sharp points of the pentagon. And let's make sure the snap uh, centers of objects is activated because uh, we'll have to snap the center of circle to the corner. And it works perfectly. So we can make a duplicate of this circle. And as you can see we have snapped it as well. But as you can see we have an overlap between these two circles and what should be the correct size of this circle. So now we have to measure any side of the pentagon and the length of any of the sides is basically the width of the circle. And we can use the measure tool. So click once and drag along the side. And now all we have to do is to remember this number 288.85 pixels. So now let's select our circle, make sure that units are set to pixels, and now let's just insert 288.85 for the width and height. Now let's snap it to the corner just like that. Now let's check if it works, let's duplicate this circle, and as you can see these two circles are perfectly touching each other and sitting at the corners of the pentagon. That's super awesome. And actually we just need one circle, because we'll be using the Bezier tool to draw this special triangle uh, shape, and after that we will just duplicate the teardrop. And now let's make sure that snap to path intersection is enabled, because we'll have to snap to this place where a circle and pentagon meets. Okay, so let's go to the Bezier tool. So snap to the intersection, now let's snap to the center of the pentagon, snap to the intersection and let's join everything together. Now we can select both the circle and the triangle, go to path, and choose union. And this way we have created our perfect first teardrop shape. Congratulations ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and now we'll have to duplicate this teardrop shape and uh, rotate it alongside the pentagon. And if we would try to rotate it right now, it would rotate you know, according to its rotation center. So we have to change the rotation center. Let's make sure that snap to rotation center is activated. Now let's click this plus symbol and move it to the corner. Let me show you once again. So we click on the shape once, we click twice, and now we get this rotation center. And now let's move it to the corner, just like that. And now if we would move this uh, teardrop shape, it moves, you know, according to the new rotation center. Okay, and now to make this whole rotation process faster and easier, let's go to Object, and let's choose Transform, Transform, let's go to Rotate, and now let's just uh, make sure we're rotating clockwise. Let's type in 360 divided by 5, because we're working with Pentagon. Hit enter, we get 72, and now let's click apply. And now we get a perfectly rotated second water drop shape. That's awesome. So let's make one more duplicate and let's hit apply. Let's hit duplicate, hit apply. Let's hit duplicate and apply. <laughs> so as you can see, that's pretty fun and easy process. And this way we get our perfect pentagon water drop shape. Could actually delete the original pentagon, but let's just leave it like that. And now we can basically repeat the same process for the hexagon. So once again, let's just draw a circle. Okay, now let's measure the side of the hexagon. So let's remember this number, 241.09. So 
So let's select the circle and uh, let's make sure we're working with pixels. Let's insert 241.09. That's awesome. Let's check if the circles are touching each other. That's good. So let's go to Bezier tool. You can click the B to access the Bezier tool. That's good. Now let's select both of these guys and we can go to Path Union or we can just hold down the control and click plus. This is the shortcut for Union. Okay, so now let's make sure that we bring the rotation center to the corner just like that. Let's make a duplicate and now let's divide 360 by 6 because we are working with a hexagon. We get 60 and now let's just repeat. Control D to duplicate and click apply. Okay, and we are finished with the hexagon. So let me speed up a little bit and finish the septagon and the octagon and I will meet you in a second. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so we have created all of the shapes that we need in Inkscape and let's just choose one of these uh, infographics. So let's choose the octagon. Let's hold down the shift key. Let's make sure that we have selected everything that we want. That's awesome. Hit Ctrl C to copy. Now let's get back to PowerPoint. Let's insert a new slide. Just hit enter. And now let's hit Ctrl V to paste our beautiful octagon infographic. Let's convert it to shape. We can ungroup it and now we can select all of the individual parts. We can change the fill and that's super awesome. As you can see our octagon teardrops are transparent because here in the Inkscape we have set the opacity to 50. But that's all good. We can always uh, change the fills. Okay, so let me actually group all of these water drops back to group. And let me copy this octagon infographic from my previous slide. I send it to back and now let me check what was the size of this uh, previous infographic 23.22 so let's use the same size for this guy as well let's just make sure that we lock the aspect ratio so once we insert the height the width will be the same and now let's just center these guys like that okay let me send the transparent one to back and the original one, let's move it here to the side. Now let's ungroup both of these guys. And to save some time, I'll just uh, copy the style from my previous infographic and paste it to this one. Okay, so I'll meet you in a second. All right, so the octagon is ready and beautiful. Now let's group everything into one group. Let me update the title and subtitle. That's awesome. And if you'd like to check out the rest of these water drop infographic slides, you can find all of these water drops inside of my class project file in my PowerPoint and Inkscape class on Skillshare. Click the link in the video description and you'll get 14 days of Skillshare Premium for absolutely free. That's awesome. Okay, so let me copy these icons and these steps from my previous infographic just to save some time okay so we have all of the shapes that we need now let's go to animations so let me just delete all of these animations so that we can start from scratch let me just select all of them and click remove so first of all let's start with our subtitle so let's go to fly in animation let's choose from top starts with previous duration 2 seconds and in the effect options let's add a bounce end of 1.5 seconds that's awesome looks like this now we can use the animation painter and paste this animation to our title okay let's uh, make sure we add a delay of 0 0.1 second looks good okay now let's select our water drops so these guys okay they should be grouped into one group and now let's go to entrance animations and let's look for spinner animation here it is click ok let's make sure it starts with previous duration two seconds ok 
and uh, let's remove the delay so no delay for this guy okay that's good okay now let's select these icons they are grouped into one group that's good so let's go to more entrance animations and let's look for zoom animation okay Let's make sure they start uh, with previous and for the duration I think 1.75 second looks good. Okay. And now for these uh, steps we can use the same fly in animation uh, that our subtitle is using. So let's just use the animation painter and paste it to step number one. And let's make sure it starts after previous and it comes from the left side looks like this now we can copy the animation from step number one and paste it to step number two with the animation painter but for step number two let's make sure it starts with previous and let's add a delay of 0.2 seconds okay so now we can select step number two double click the animation painter and paste the animation to the rest of the steps let's make sure that for these guys on the right side the fly in happens from the right side just like that Okay, and now for the step number three, let's add a delay of 0.4 second. And for the step number four, 0.6. So as you can see, I'm using 0.2 second increments for the rest of these steps. Okay, and for the last step, one second, 0.4 okay now we can check it out on the full screen ladies and gentlemen congratulations now you know how you can create this animated water drop octagon infographic with inkscape and powerpoint so i want to say huge thanks to all of my students on udemy and skillshare and all of my supporters on patreon thank you very much guys i love you so thank you for watching stay happy stay healthy and i will see you on my next video